Welcome to Tech Guru Technology. My name is Simran Khan. In this video, we'll discuss about the first five interview questions. Uh, here you can see the list of interview questions. There are 10 different kind of interview questions frequently asked in, you know, in any company. So we'll discuss the first five in the first video and then the rest five in the next video. Let me start. The first one, extract first name, mid name, and last name from the list. So, so you can see, it looks very easy, right? Right. So, for, for first name, we should write left, and then text, and the number of character. So, you'll see, if I write the number of character 4, that means we get the first name here. Okay. And the second name, what logic will use a formula like mid. So what a mid does, it will extract the, the mid name. How it will extract? So we'll pass text and then we'll pass start number. Where where you know you want to extract the, the, the particular text. So I want to extract the particular text from the the, for, from the letter 5. It means M O H D. There are 4 and then space. It's also a character. That means it's a 5. So let's start from 6. S 6 and then how many characters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in mid, right? So I'm writing 5. Okay. Let me enter. So it's showing mid name. And then I'm just doing, I'm just writing a formula for last name. It is nothing but a right function or formula, whatever. So I'm just passing text, text the same reference text, and the number of character in last letter is K H E N. There are four characters, okay? So let me writing four and then, then pressing enter. So it looked good, right? However, it's not. A uh, dynamic. For example, if I am just copying and pasting it in the different different cells, then you can see you cannot you'll not find the right result here. You'll see that the, the first name is not correct, the mid name is not correct, and the last name is also not correct. We don't we don't want static formula or function. We always we have a need of dynamic one, right? So in interview, an interviewer will also ask about dynamic one. So how can we make it dynamic? Let me show you. So for that, I'm just using a logic that I'm just saying, okay, the first name is nothing but but a uh, no, but all character before that the particular the first space. Here you can see the space, and before those space, you can see that all character is are nothing but a first name. Okay, and the mid name is nothing but are all character between the first and second space here in this example, right? And last name is nothing but after the last oh, the last space. So the character of the last space correct so then what i am doing here i'm just finding out the first let me read out all and then i'm just writing formula to find out the first space so for the first space i'm just find using formula find okay the find what find space double quote one space, closing double quote, comma, where, in this text, right? And then hitting enter, okay, string number five. And then we need to find out the second space using same formula. However, the logic become different. How it's different? Let me show you. Select. No, not select like right now. So what I'm we are finding out, we are finding out the similar thing like space, but we are not finding out the first one. We are finding out the next one. For that, what I need to do, the this you know formula is looking similar from 
at this point however i am putting something like at, at the th as a third parameter the third parameter start noun is optional optional what does it mean interview also you can ask oh, what does it mean by optional parameter optional parameter that means either you can pass a value or not doesn't matter whatever if you are passing a value it's okay it will it will show the result accordingly if you're not passing a value then that means the function will assume some value some predefined value right so here if i'm not passing a value it assumes that the we are starting searching from the very first character right so here i'm saying that no don't start from very first character start from after that the first space the first space is nothing but number five so i'm giving the reference of the this and then i'm saying they start after that means i am putting plus one that means start after the first space the first space is nothing but the fifth space fifth sorry fifth character okay so that means if i am saying f4 plus one so i am saying they start from character six here in this example character six nothing but i okay so i'm saying so we got the space so we got a uh, second space okay so it's 11 so i'm just no i'm just deleting out or you can say i'm okay let me delete out don't uh, don't, don't uh, update formula so i'm saying left okay and then giving reference text and comma number of characters where we will find the first space minus one because we don't don't count that space if i am saying okay the first space it will give space also that means muhammad and then space okay so we don't want, want any kind of a space in first name so i am saying okay minus one this is giving giving us the first name exact first name we can drag, drag down this formula we will get the diff no exactly same first name in all formulas okay and then we'll find out the, the mid name meet text then start start from where start after the first space so first space is nothing but this number five and then i'm saying plus one so that means start from character six here in this text and then the big questions how many characters are there okay see i am r a n imran is nothing with character 5 total number of character 5 if i am saying so okay second space minus first space so 11 minus 5 then how many numbers are there 6 okay so we need only five that means we need to what we need to do we need to do what second space minus first space and then minus one okay this is the logic the second space in 11 number 11 minus number five the first space so we, we will get the we will not get the exact location of the of the mid, mid no our uh, name so we'll get on the number six however you can see the total number of uh, total number of character in mid name is one two three four five here so i'm saying minus one okay i'm closing it let me see let me see okay i'm getting the name okay and then drag down the formula we are getting exact name here so okay we got the first name mid name and then now how can we get the last name so the last name we need to write we need to use right okay so for right we need number of character how can we know the number of characters after you know after the you know uh, in in the last name so for that i am just using a logic i'm just uh, using logic what logic of length length let me know the length of 
entire name so it's nothing but sorry length so let me use the length of entire name so it's showing 15 right if I say if we substitute the second space position from the entire length then I'll, I'll get the total number of character in last name okay see number 15 minus number 11 is nothing but a 4 and we see that in my last name there are 4 characters K H E N. okay so I'm saying R I G S T right and then name okay then I'm saying the length minus the second space so we'll get the last name okay how then you can this way you can get okay no we are, we are, we are having some problem here I believe Okay, let me dig down this formula again. Okay, okay. And then using the formula again, now we'll get. Okay, because uh, we have written this formula right now, and then if each and every time, whatever, whenever we are making any any changes in formula, we need to dig down all formula. Right, all right. So okay, the second question asked question, frequently asked question is difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So HLOOKUP works horizontally and VLOOKUP works vertically. And then one more thing I will explain that okay, in HLOOKUP you'll see the row index num here. Okay, and if if I'm writing VLOOKUP, so if you see the parameters, you'll see column index now. And the second, the third one question is difference between offset and VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, in VLOOKUP, you can only search the right side of value of the lookup column. And in offset, you can learn, you can search left, right, up and down value. Okay. So frequently asked question, one more question is that uh, how many parameters or what kind of parameters are in VLOOKUP? So please remember the parameters is like this lookup value, table array, column index, and range lookup. Please keep remember frequently asked question is that how many parameters and what kind of parameters are there? Okay, the, they'll ask name only. So please explain the name. And in offset also, they'll ask name only. So you'll say that the reference row, column, height, and width. So keep remember all of parameters frequently asked question uh, thank you so much for watching my videos hope you like my video please subscribe for more